Hello everyone. Today we will be seeing how do we check if a particular string is accepted by a DFA or not. So let us consider this particular DFA. This has four states, two input symbols A and B. The start state is this Q0 and the final state is Q3. This is the transition table for the same. So now we are going to consider the string if A, B, A, B, A, B, if this particular string is accepted by the DFA or not. So there are two ways to check this. One is using extended transition function and another is using sequence diagram. Let us first see what is an extended transition function. So now the extended transition function tells that if we have more than one alphabet in the string then we should consider that is delta of p comma x a more than one alphabet in the string then it should be considered as delta of delta of p comma x separately and then comma a so now let us consider the string a b a b a b first of all i will take the start state and the first alphabet so delta q0 comma a is equal to q0 comma a gives me q1 now i will consider two alphabets at a time delta q0 comma a b is equal to applying this particular rule i will get delta of delta of q0 comma a comma b so now I know that delta of Q0 comma A, this is the same as the first line. So which is nothing but Q1 comma B. So now Q1 with B gives me Q3. Now I will take three alphabets at a time. Q0 comma A, B, A is equal to delta of delta of Q0 comma A, B the two strings comma a that is equal to delta of now this i derived in my previous line and i know that this is nothing but q3 it becomes delta of q3 comma a it is equal to q2 similarly delta of q0 comma a b a b is equal to delta of delta of q0 comma a b a this again is derived from my previous line and gives me the answer as q2 so i get delta of q2 comma b is equal to q0 then delta i take five characters now a b a b a delta of delta of q0 comma a b a b comma a now this again is from my previous line work which is nothing but Q0. So I get Q0 comma A and it is Q1. I write the complete string in the last line and this I get from my previous line which is nothing but Q1. Delta of Q1 comma B gives me Q3. Since Q3 is the final state. So now in the final finally i reach q3 and q3 is the final state i say that the string is accepted by dfa the second method is sequence diagram so now uh, for sequence diagram i will consider each alphabet so i start with q0 q0 with a gives me gives leads me to q1 now Q1 on B takes me to Q3. Q3 on A takes me to Q2. Q2 with B takes to Q0. Q0 with A takes me to Q1. Q1 with B takes me to Q3. Since Q3 is the final state, the string is accepted by DFA.